Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here and we're here today to take a look at your weekend reading, see what the weekend has in store. Uh, guys, you're coming into a collective reading and you have a question, put it out there to spirit because in an odd way it seems to answer it as we go through and progress through your reading. Also, if you're actually seeking a personal reading, contact me on my website at JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a list of options over there. It's been year number 18 for me on my website. Um, also, I need y'all to watch out for scammers, okay? And I say this because they're all across the board in regards to my social media. Those that comment on my stuff are being hit up by people that are asking for money for readings or whatnot. And some of these people are making profile pictures that are similar or using my pictures and making similar uh, screen names. And please know that if you are actually dealing with me, first and foremost, I'm never going to ask you for money for a reading. Uh, second of all, I will never solicit you directly. And you need to know that media links, social media links are on my website. Okay. And if you didn't get it from my website, then you're not dealing with me. So that's what I have for you guys. Waiting for you all to get into the room. Let's get into these messages. Let's see who all we have in here. Jen, I saw you slide in here. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Sandy, how are you? Brandy. <laughs> Woo! Yes, uh, the full moon energy is rather thick and heavy. Hello, Ray. How are you? Yeah, it's a little thick today. A little thick. All are you. Yeah, it's a little thick today. A little thick. All of them are bothering me. Right, right, to visit other sites. Holly, I get it. I mean, the same, and it's it's not just here. It's every social network I'm on. Like when I stream, right now I'm just streaming for you guys. But sometimes when I stream, I can have the ability to stream like three or four different uh, places at once. And they're over there just hitting my people. Oh, contact me for a reading, you know, and all this other stuff. It, it's just ridiculous. It's just totally ass ridiculous. So know what you're dealing with. And they're not saying I'm the only legitimate psychic out there. So there's some good ones here. There's some good ones. Okay. But you want to look at the longevity of them. I mean, like me, I'm getting ready to drop another $400 on a freaking fortune teller permit. I've been licensed since 2006. And that does include my permit with the police department. So, I mean, look, look at who you're dealing with, how long they've been around, you know, what they got going on. Hello, Julie. And one day we'll get into the different types of gifts, depending on what kind of reading you want. You know, whether you need a psychic, whether you need a psychic medium or whatnot. These are just card readings because they're fun. They give you a little information. If you contact me, I'm intuitive and I don't need them. Thank you, Miss Ruthann. Sunshine, how are you? Like I said, if y'all got general questions, put them out there to spirit because somehow or another that collective reading seems to answer them. All right. Right? I agree with you, Holly. I agree with you. I'm doing well. Thank you. All right. So let's see what the messages are. Before we get into your reading, we have, ooh, someone is waiting for you to apologize. Y'all been rude or something? I'm just saying. Someone's waiting on an apology from you. It says for you to pause, just slow down and rethink your options. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Lynn. Ah, uh, look at here. Good luck and abundance coming in. This is your weekend read. Something you have been manifesting since fall could come into fruition this weekend. Pay close attention to your dreams. Someone close to you coming in this weekend for an unexpected offer of assistance. Okay. There's something here you're still not letting go of everything. I've been telling y'all all month. 
You have to let go of the old so the new energy can come in. And it's still telling me there's something here that you have not let go of yet. Okay. Recognize your self-worth and do not sell yourself short this weekend. Recognize your self-worth. Level up, folks. Level up. It's time. You will get what you want. You're making excuses, but you're not making excuses for someone else. You're making them for yourself. Facts. Expect a good business deal. As well as there's going to be a trip out of state. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. You're coming into the era of new beginning. Now, since Monday, I've been telling y'all, this is a week of closure. Okay, this is a week of closure, and next week is your week of the new beginning. Well, kicking it off was last night's full moon. That full moon is bringing in new opportunities. Okay, sometime over the weekend, it says you need to be warned of foolish decisions. Again, slow down and think things through. Okay? See what other messages I can pull for you here. What other message can we pull through? Y'all are losing patience. See you tapping your foot, rubbing your fingers, losing your patience. You carry a high drive for success, and good news will arrive when you least expect it. Also, yeah, digging for your patience is going to run through the weekend, just so you know. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Mm, that new beginning is coming up. There is a caution to slow down this weekend, okay? In your vehicle, at home, and at work, but this too. There's your anger flaring up here, and it's coming by you mouthing off. Just want to throw it out there. Yep. Accusing you. I sure did. I sure did. Thank you. Just want to throw it out there. Yep. Accusing you. I sure did. I sure did. Thank you. Um, it's coming in a form that you're expecting. Also jumping out, purple roses. Purple roses are going to be significant. Also swans. Okay. And don't get stuck in your head. When you start overthinking things, that's when things just go bad. They just go bad. You bring your energy way down. Don't get stuck overanalyzing things. When you start overthinking, that's exactly what you do. You start overanalyzing all right, let's get into your weekend energy here. What do we have coming up? All right, for the weekend. <clears throat> Guys, I am available this weekend. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Um, will I be over here this weekend? It's hard to say. It just depends on what I have going on, you know? Okay, so we're going to start with the Seven of Wands. That's your Zen card. This tells me that the journey inward is paying off. You're at peace with yourself. You're good with your decisions. You know, and we have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries, but overall, you guys are taking authority this weekend. You're putting your foot down. Hi there. You're putting your foot down, and you're being true to you. Um, some of you are actually calling the shots. You're saying, you know, I've done A, B, and C, and now we're going to do X, Y, Z. But bottom line is, you're letting everybody know. You're putting them on standby that we're doing things your way this weekend. Power of that full moon. New opportunities coming in. Also, a cancer may or may not resonate with you. But new opportunities will be presenting themselves this weekend. I think it's more towards the latter part. But there are new opportunities looking here, guys. There is a tower card moment here. Now, this to you is going to mean sudden changes. Sudden changes. This is something that's going to come rushing in. 
this is your anger. This is your temper. Remember I said, you know, if there's something there with your anger, you know, um, and it's okay because I've never seen a tower that's going to lead you something to lead you to something worse. It's going to lead you to something better. But it does elevate that level of festivity, just letting you know, okay? My word, by the way. Four of Swords is the sun in your reading. It's because you're in the calm before the storm. This is the stall out. This is a transition that I'm talking about. We're in a week of closure. We're coming into a week of a new beginning. You're under a full moon. Kind of that full moon energy is reading this. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Make a point to use that today. <laughs> it's right catchy. <laughs> you know? I have a whole vocabulary. We're writing a whole new um, dictionary over here on my end. We have uh, bajiggity. When you feel in bajiggity is when, you know, you feel like a cat on a hot tin roof. We have festivity, you know, when your temper is elevating. Um, and a soul flame. That's a combination of a soulmate and a twin flame is a soul flame. And singledom. Some of y'all being welcome to the world of singledom. But so, yeah, you're in that transition period of the closure and the new beginning and under the power of the new moon. So, it, I mean, the full moon. So, it's going to be a little, a little bajiggity, I guess you would say, you know, a little crazy. We have the Empress here. Mother card, positive changes on the home front. I see y'all busy on the home front this weekend. See you real busy. Okay, um, some of you are getting the news of a pregnancy. Just want to throw that out there. And we have, ooh, the hair font. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Still in January. Now, if you guys haven't done your vision boards, get them done. Get them done. Earlier I told you you had positive, positive thinking. You need to really remain positive. You can draw into you the negative just as well as you can the positive. And this is telling me that you're still under that manifestation of drawing into you fairly quickly what you want to see happen. So because you're under that manifestation energy, make sure you keep it positive. Oh, we got one shooting across the room here. Let's see what we got. Love it. Six of Wands. Where are you headed? Total victory, complete success. Surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded. Some of you could be out of town, going out of town. Uh, some of you doing some public speaking. Maybe you are a tarot reader. You have an audience of some sort. Maybe you're speaking to your family. Perhaps you're going to be asked to train a group of people. But you have an audience of some sorts here. And it's leading you to total victory and complete success. There's that patience problem. Drumming those fingers. Tapping your foot. You're waiting for your ship to come in. I can hear y'all now going, Jackie, something has got to give. Yeah, Spirit telling you trust where you're being led, right? We're not on our time. All right, let's give you a bonus card here before we get into some clarification. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Coming into a new beginning, and that new beginning is going to be pertaining to your finances. Some kind of glow up in the money department. I'll take that anytime. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's get into some clarification. We're going to start with that Zen card, that inner peace, and what you've got going on. Looks like y'all been doing the journey inward, which is good, which is good, which is good. Look at here, you got the chariot. Now, if y'all know me, y'all know that's my favorite card. God, with the Nine of Cups. And we have the King of Wands beside the King of Wands. You're definitely dealing with an Aries energy. You are definitely... Mm -hmm. Taking control, taking matters into your own hands. That's what I'm seeing here. And then that Nine of Cups comes in with wish fulfillment, total happiness, total contentment. Now, I do see a little delay in one of those wishes, <clears throat> but you do have wish fulfillment. That chariot trumps your entire reading. This is your guest answer. This is getting what you want and what you desire. It's going to come rushing in. And the cool thing about the chariot is not only is it rushing in, 
<clears throat> it's coming when you least expect it. When you least expect it. Hello, Miss Dutch. Yeah, my throat's getting all squirrely here. That tells me maybe y'all got things to say. Well, y'all taking authority. This is a weekend to see them. All right. On the first king of um, wands. There's the um, Sagittarius again. Mm. Okay, so now we have another Empress here. Six of Cups. You're doing things differently. Recognizing and embracing that you need to change things up. When things go stale, when things go stagnant, when things are not moving. This is you telling you, you got to do things differently. Look, I'm going to be the first to tell you the smallest changes in the, in the universe make the biggest changes. I mean, if you go to this grocery store on Saturday, then go to the other one on Sunday. You know? Small changes. Exactly, Miss Dutch. Again, with the mother card, and you are reconnecting with someone from the past. And I do believe that to be this weekend. I really do believe that to be this weekend. Could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. I'm really feeling fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Okay. On this crazy full moon energy, we have the devil. The Hierophon again. The Eight of Swords. No one will hold you back from your wish fulfillment and getting what you want other than you. So y'all remember that. This is about manifestation. This is a weekend. Like I said, you're in that pause between closing the door and opening the door. Okay? No one will hold you back but you. The devil card energy could be somebody shady in your circle. It's funny that shady comes right before the tower, right? I don't know about y'all, but shady people definitely elevate my level of festivity. Just saying. Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so what we got going on here. You could also be dealing with someone who has a little bit of a sharp tongue. Some way that might make you a little guarded and defensive. But at the same time, they can offer some really, truly good advice to you. Okay? And that Six of Pentacles. That Six of Pentacles comes in and says, Okay, this is not a windfall of abundance, but it's just enough to get you through maybe a little extra. Something coming in to lift the burden. If you guys are working over the weekend, it'll be worth your time. Hello, that'd be me. Four of Swords. Calm before the storm. Ooh, look at here. Somebody is looking at you as they're happily ever after. Wish fulfillment has a delay attached. And you are guarded in defense of Lord have mercy. You guys have got your cat claws out ready to pounce. I'm sorry, the name Sugar Bird just, just makes me happy. <laughs> just like the name. I like your screen name. That is so funny. I actually have a cousin that goes by that name. That's why. <laughs> okay, so. And yeah, you're just guarded and defensive. And, and it's probably because you've had this tower card moment with the someone shady. Okay. Y'all, like I said, this is a weekend of doing things your way. This is a weekend of you taking authority. You're not about to take any crap off of anybody. The Empress comes with the Eight of Cups. Okay? Eight of Cups says, this is what we're talking about from the beginning of your reading. Letting go. Walking away from someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you. Clearing out the old energy so you can allow all that new energy to come rolling in. Thank you. And we have the sun. And the sun comes in. The sun shines brightly in all that you do. This is like one of the happiest cards in the deck. 
Again, side by side, you are in the calm before the storm. What does that mean to you? It means to get the rest that you can while you can. And also means to do a little piddly stuff in your to-do list. Because you're not going to do it later. Okay? This is indicating me that you're heading off to a fast pace. And now considering I already know that we're in store for new opportunities and new beginnings next week. We will probably hit Monday running. I'm just saying. So y'all be mindful of that this weekend. And on the Herophon Energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Dark haired male specifically. Specifically a dark haired male. Um, someone that might be a business owner. Someone that might be well off. Or someone that might want to discuss financial possibilities with you. Okay. We have the lovers card, y'all. The lovers is intensity in the love life. Intensity in love life. Now that applies to my singles as well as to my couples. And my singles, I'm here to tell you, someone is looking at you as that happily ever after. Oh, there it is. We all got it going on. It's called a loss of sleep. And that's really coming from the full moon. Can't stop the, the wheels turning. God's girl, I agree with you. See, I'm, amazing, isn't it, Tracy? I'm telling you, y'all reconnected with people from the past. I don't know. Eight of Pentacles. You're victory and your success. It has something to do with money. It has something to do with money and it's a little extra money. Some of you, this could be a side hustle. Some of you may be starting a job. Some of you may be selling some things. You know? But it's a little extra money. It's something in addition to your regular pay. Coming in this weekend. And it helps restore that sin again. And we have the two of wands. Again, I'm telling you, you're getting ready to discuss some travel plans. It's like a day trip or whatever. It's not far, but it's right over the state line. Loss of patience comes with money. This is where you've lost your patience. You know you've got a new beginning of money coming. And when you need money, you need money. You know, I, I get it. I'm not a patient side. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm not patient at all. So I get that. The Two of Pentacles says you're out of your comfort zone financially, but it's also an indication that new money is coming into play. Something is rushing in this weekend. What is rushing in? Ha! The moon. We know. We know. Full moon crazies rushing in. Actually, it's not that bad. I did your full moon reading yesterday. If you didn't catch it, go back and catch it. Um... Energy of the moon is not coming off too bad. And on your new beginning in money, your new beginning in money comes with that Scorpio has reappeared, telling you to open your heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Hi there. Uh, but bottom line is you need to open your heart. You know, this is in regards to your family, your friends, and of course matters of the heart. Thank you. We have strength. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. And we have Seven of Cups. Look at there. You're reading clothes in the exact way it started. It closed with telling you to slow down and think things through. Pause before you act. It's the way you're reading open. It's the way you're reading closed that's going to be significant. So no hasteful decisions, no hasteful actions this weekend. And when you go to do just that, I hope you hear my voice telling you that. Very seldom does a reading open and close the same way unless it's really driving that nail home, you know? All right, let's see what Kipper has in store for you for the weekend. For the weekend. This has been the quickest moving week. Really has. 
Okay, one has fallen out here. We have an official type person. Could be dealing with someone in the military or someone that wears a uniform. Some of you are working this weekend. Don't worry. It'll be worth your time. Also have lucky number seven is here. Good morning there. Hi, Marianne. Unexpected income. There's your money in addition to. There's going to be an older man that comes in to talk to you. Now, this man either has gray, silver, or blonde hair. He's very lightheaded. But he really wants your attention. He needs your patience. He needs your understanding. We've already talked about your patience problem. There's some kind of message here. Some, something tedious that you've got to stop what you're doing and take care of. Does that make sense? That happens probably tomorrow. So, you know, some of you get news of a marriage this weekend. Some of you may also be getting news of someone going to jail or someone getting ready to get out of jail. Again, no overthinking. You'll depress yourself if you do. And again, it tells you that you're on the right path. You need to trust where you're being led. There's also an older woman coming in. She needs your help. She needs your advice. She finds you as the voice of reason, and she's coming in this weekend. Some of you are buying a house or you're selling a house. And there's a professional male that reaches out to you. And I say he's a professional because he wears a suit and tie. It's not necessarily over the weekend. You have a secret admirer watching you. I don't see them contacting you yet. But there's something to do with the filing of paperwork at a courthouse that's going to be significant for you. Some of you may be working overtime, and there it is. There it is. Get the living room cleaned up, folks, because you're looking for an expected company this weekend. Whoever your unexpected company is, guess what? They show up with a gift. They're going to show up with a gift. And for some of you, this may be that person from the past with a peace offering. Oh, I like gifts too. I don't know if this one bows or not. But unexpected with a gift. It does have the romantic pull that it's something to do with matters of the heart. Whoever it is, they're out to impress because it does supersede your expectations. Get to cleaning, folks. Get to cleaning. All right. It's it's Friday. Let me give you some of those romance angels before we get into the affirmations. What we got for Friday romance? Weekend romance. What we need to know for the weekend romance. Those romance angels. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Release your past energy. Release it. Release it, release it, release it. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Happiness, folks. Happiness. Happiness is a choice. I will always tell you that. Choose happy. There's also a shady person here because there's a deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. There's your terror moment. Free yourself. It's time to take back or, uh, control of your life. Remember I said this weekend was about taking authority. You're calling the shots. A separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. You may currently be separated from this particular individual. And it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This tells me this is someone you know. One more. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe... Maybe y'all are the ones getting married, and I'll hear about that. Just saying. All right. 
So let's roll on into your affirmation for the weekend. For the weekend. If y'all care to join me on YouTube, I will be over there probably about 30 minutes or so. We do a reading called Spilling the Tea. If you care to join me there, it's youtube.com backslash jacking, uh, psychic jacking. And if you want to join me on Rumble for exclusive videos that aren't aired anywhere else, it's rumble.com backslash Jackie Tomlin. My destiny will reveal itself in time. So what did I tell you? What did I tell you? God's timing. Trust where you're being led. Oh, it'll probably be 30 minutes or so, Dutch. You need to remember you are a miracle. And that you're becoming a better person every day. Ooh, pull another card. Let's see. Four cups. Unexpected offer of love. Driving home. The unexpected. You will do the best you can every single day. Okay, guys. The energy for the weekend, I honestly believe, looks good. Um, over and over, it's telling you to slow down and think things through. There is a tower card moment, but who's in control this weekend? Who's running things? Who's taking authority? You are. Your weekend. Kind of like your dream. Make it as big as you want to. Okay. Looks like you've got, you're dealing with some good energy. Unexpected company with a gift coming in. Uh, don't forget your chariot trumped your reading. Getting what you want when you least expect it. And it's going to come rushing in. All right, guys. May you see me sometime over the weekend. I am working a little bit in the office. And sometimes I'll just log on for a few minutes. So I'm not going to say that you won't. Right now I've got no plans for the weekend. So we'll see how things go. You guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy your weekend. And if nothing else, I'll be right back here Monday. Take a look. We are ready for a fast pace of new beginnings and new opportunities next week. All right. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.